Okay, I just want to document this, how it's working before I take this transistor off and put the other three on here. Same type, just two, two more than what's on there now. This setup. So I'm going to run the motor the opposite direction of what I've been running it. I'm going to do both. I'm not sure where the timing is on it. Pretty handy little scope. This one works pretty good. It's pretty accurate too. So here now you can see how long that slope is to turn that trigger off. Should be straight down like in my last video. See here where the timing is on it. Not sure actually. So yeah, I'll retard it even more and you can see how much worse it gets. And this spot here, right in the center, that is directly in line with the magnet. Like the magnet fit perfectly in the center of the coil and that's the same with those two coils the magnets will be directly in the center of those coils so that is the same as a bedini motor when you have your trigger coil wrapped around the thing so that's the best efficiency you'd, you'd get plus the bedini motor is even worse because of how they are have all their magnets facing out one pole, monopole he calls it, which is stupid. This one pushes and this one pulls and they are wrapped in series. So it just completes the the coil magnet. And your rotor should always be metal. Like a steel magnetic that's what concentrates the flux. It's not all over the fucking place. It's in the metal. You can see that's halfway point for the timing now. For the speed here, that's the output, like before. This input is 3.34 amps. So I'm gonna retard it, just so I can get that amp reading. It's coming out of that 12 volt battery. Here's the readings too for the on it's getting 9 volt peak off it's on the charge cycles 22 and a half volts going to the light. That's at 3 amps going clockwise direction, spinning it. So now I'll put her to the nuts. It's completely advanced timing.
stainless steel. They don't get affected much. Three point three four, so it's using like thirty milliamps more. Fifty two volts out. So now I'm gonna take it off the negative. Just to shut it off. Stop it. Again, on our end. It's hooked up again. There you go. Zero this out again. Now I'm going to turn it counterclockwise to start it. Since it's turning counterclockwise, the timing is retarded now. So you'll see the big slow slow off the trigger. Really slow. Seven volts. We'll put three point two three amps. Now I'll put her full out. You see it's only like 20 amp, 20 milliamps difference from slow to fast. Transistor gets hot because of that. They definitely have power though, these motors. good anyway because I'm going to be taking this apart now. It's good enough for video. It's 
That's another good thing about these motors, you don't need any diodes from the trigger. You don't need any sort of resistors. Just hook up one to the negative coming from the battery and the other one going to the base. So yeah, one to the emitter and one to the base of your transistor. And as long as you have your stop this. see how these line up as long as everything like that lines up see when I put the trigger on I just dead center it right now it's pushed all the way to this direction so it's like right there so everything lines up that's how I put my motor together and then to get it to run if it doesn't run on your first try, all you have to do is turn this, flip these wires. Take the one that's on the base and put it on the emitter, and take the one that's on the emitter and put it on the base. And if it doesn't start after that, then you got an electrical problem. Or you got the wrong type of a coil wound for your trigger. I like to have high impedance, high voltage for my trigger and that's about it if you know how to capture the back spike it's pretty easy you just take your positive for from the coil on this one and put it directly to your negative on the cap and then you take your negative from this coil and you put it to the diode here that feeds the positive and then that's your output from the cap positive negative out to the load here that's so simple it is collector from the base from the transistor goes to the coil the positive goes directly to the battery that's all there is to it Well, thanks for watching.